Hello friends, welcome to Friday's video. Yes, I needed an extra day. <laughs> you know, life life uh, gets in the way sometimes. Any hooser. I wanted to break these out again because I really enjoy them. I think they're super cute. And um, yeah, I just want to play with them again. So for um, this time, I was thinking that I would use some gold mica powder and kind of fill in uh, the little bumblebees um, and the uh, honeycomb parts. And then over here for this, I'm not really sure if I want to, I think what I want to do is just pour the, um, the resin in, let it cure, demold, and then maybe fill it in with the mica powder. I'm not entirely sure. I may end up going over it with the mica powder, just, you know, kind of on the edges. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. If I'm hoping to get this up by Friday, then probably uh, the latter more than the former. Um, but yes, yeah, so these are going to be gold and black. <clears throat> and where's it at? Oh, nope, that's not it. What did I do with it? The, um, the new alcohol ink that I got in. The rainbow one that I tried on Tuesday. What did I do with it? Anyway, I'm going to put that in with the black because a lot of people have commented on that video and said, hey, you know, it looks a lot better with a black base um, or dark colors. So I'm going to try it in the black and see how it, see how it turns out. See if it's more um, rainbow that way. So yeah, so this is going to be super fun, super easy, super quick. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started, shall we?
no, 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 no. It's bonus unmolding time. Yeah. All right, y'all. Bonus unmolding. This time, I actually didn't mess up, and I um, put the, <laughs> the rainbow alcohol ink in the black. So we will see ah! what that looks like. Uh, okay. Did I? Yeah, I mixed it in with this one. But for some reason it's still kind of pulled around that. I don't know. I wish that I filmed when I was doing bonus pours so I could remember what the hell I did. I know that I mixed it into the resin as well, as you can see here. But I don't know why it kind of did that. I mean, maybe I put too much in it. I don't know. All right. I also did a moon. Wow. That is super pretty. That is gorgeous. It's definitely giving night sky. But again... Thank you to those who suggested putting it in black or with a black background, but it's still not rainbow. <laughs> it's definitely still blue and purple. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's stunning. I'm going to use it. Don't get me wrong. It's beautiful. Just not exactly rainbow. But yeah, that is your bonus unmolding. Okay. <laughs> If you watched the whole video, then you know why I'm laughing. I'm laughing because I skipped a very crucial step of putting the rainbow alcohol ink in the black before pouring the black. I don't know why my brain said, nope, I'm definitely not going to do that. So, my conclusion to that is I highly doubt that there will be glitter on the other side of this. I really don't think so. Um, also, I will have some cleanup to do around these edges because I did over pour just a little bit. I did go back with, um, with my spatula and kind of tried to scoop it off, which also may have caused the gold mica powder to shift. But let's go ahead and demold and let's see. I'm nervous. Okay. It doesn't look great. Some of the um, rainbow did come through a little bit. It does not look great, especially around the bees. But um, I don't know. If you guys uh, are resin crafters and you have a technique of being able to paint things very small with my with mica powder and keep the mica powder where it's supposed to be instead of all over the place um please let me know how you do that it's they're very cute i really enjoy the pops of um the pops of gold in there yeah i mean some of the um some of the rainbow glitter did make it through, which is great. Um, and at the end of it, I'm actually quite, quite pleased with these. The bees look really messy. The honeycomb looks great on all of these. Um, well, most of these. <laughs> 
But like I said, I just need to figure out how to um, how to paint those without getting mica powder everywhere. You know what I mean? Right now I'm just using my little edging tool. I don't know what you call this. I call it a deburring tool. These are still a little soft. So it's not so bad. I call it a deburring tool. Is that what you guys call these things? I really shouldn't do that towards me. Um, you know? Is that what they're called? Y'all y'all correct me. I mean, I don't I don't know what to tell y'all. I'm an idiot. I've always admitted to being an idiot. I am not in any way, shape, or form a uh, a professional in this field. Uh, if anything, I am a professional dum dum. Um, I make mistakes and I do things wrong all the time. But that's how we learn, that's how we grow. So, you know, you can't, you can't be mad at, at learning, the learning process at all. I'm sorry, I know you guys want to see that face, but I'm also ADHD and it was just kind of bugging me, so I kind of had to get all of that off. Okay, cool. So put that down and flatten that back out. Alright, <clears throat> let's see how this turned out. Um, with this one, I did, uh go back and clean up as much of the gold overspill that I that I could so we shall see how it turned out oh okay what do you guys think I mean there's still a little bit of gold here and there in it but I think it turned out great. Um, none of the rainbow alcohol ink made it through uh, that I can see with my eye. I also have a little bit of cleanup here to do around the edge, but I'll do that off camera. Let's go ahead and um, let's pop these bad boys in, yeah? And there you go. A very cute little set of coasters so yeah that like I said working on a couple of really big projects um, for this month so I wanted to do some easy stuff and I also wanted to pull these back out because I just think they're so adorable they're very very cute um, you know and there's a lot of different ways that you could that you could decorate these but yeah, anyway, that is today's video. Um, it was a lot of fun to film, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. It really helps out my channel, helps me to grow. Also, if you are new, stick around by clicking the red subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. I, like I said, I have two... Um, pretty extensive projects coming up this month that I'm really excited to uh, to show you guys. One of them, I think one of them will be posted next week, and then the second one will be posted for Valentine's Day week. So, yes, that is the show. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I hope that you have a beatastic day. <laughs> Take care. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm.